Manchester United's starting 11 against Newcastle United has been revealed. Manchester United are aiming to end their six-year trophy starvation in the much-anticipated Carabao Cup final against Newcastle United at Wembley Stadium today. The Red Devils will start as favourites, but will need to take a win against the Magpies, who still have one of the best defences in Europe's top five leagues. Here are Eric Ten Hag starting 11 in the final match today. David De Gea is in excellent form for United, today, he will be one of the most trusted names in the field. No change in defense, Ten Hag looks set to continue with Aaron Wan-Bissaka replacing Diogo Dalot at right back. Wan-Bissaka is superb in winning one-on-one -on -one defensive duels and will be tasked with keeping Alan St. Maximin quiet in the final. Rafael Verani and Lisandro Martinez are the undisputed central defense duo, the same can be said for Luke Shaw as left back. Case Miro is a nailed-on starter in the number six position, he is available for the final after serving a three-man domestic suspension. Fred put on a phenomenal show that ended with a goal midweek, he is expected to be a partner to his compatriots in the midfield. Wout Weghorst was pretty much non-existent in the first half on Thursday night and he could be one of the players dropping to the bench. We anticipate Marcus Rashford to lead the line with standing captain Bruno Fernandes featuring in his customary number 10 position. Anthony, who bagged the winning goal against Barcelona off the bench, should be a confirmed starter on the right side of the club's attack. On the left wing, we would prefer Alejandro Garnacho over Jadon Sancho due to the former's pace and direct running on the counter-attack. This is how Manchester United's starting 11 is expected today. So what is your opinion on this, did you like the first 11? Manchester United sail in limbo as bids from Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sheik Jassen do not meet Glazer's asking price. Doubts over the full sale of Manchester United have grown as the current offers were not deemed valuable enough to force the Glazers to sell the club. Two bidders have gone public with their bids to buy Man United, British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe and QIB chairman Sheik Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani. According to the Financial Times, the offer made by either party does not meet the values the Glazers are willing to sell the club to. The report also states that the American owners were in no rush to approve the sale of the club. Therefore, bidders must increase their bids to persuade the Glaziers to leave the club. Man United is currently worth $4 billion, but Glazers wants at least $6 billion to sell their stake. The bids from Jim Ratcliffe and Sheik Jassim are said to be around $4 billion, well below the asking amount. An official statement from the club in November stated that the owners are ready for both partial and full sale. The sale of Man United was expected to trigger a bidding war between prospective owners, but that has yet to happen. Manchester United keeping tabs on Celta Vigo playmaker Gabri Vega, Newcastle and Arsenal also keen. Manchester United are one of three clubs, including Newcastle United and Arsenal, to follow Celta Vigo quarterback Gabri Vega, AS Newspaper reported. The Red Devils had a great transition season under coach Eric Ten Hag and there should be another big spending spree in the next transfer window. A new forward and a right back are among the top priorities, but the club may also consider signing a young playmaker to support Bruno Fernandes. United are closely watching 20-year-old Vega, who has scored six goals and provided two assists in 21 La Liga appearances this season, AS reported. Alongside United, Newcastle and Arsenal also follow the high-rated Spanish youth, who could be sold by Celta for €30 million Euros in the summer. Fernandez has contributed numerous goals for the Red Devils since the World Cup, but the workload needs to be managed in the future. Donny van de Beek was not impressed with his role as number 10 in the first half of the season and will be out of the field for a long time after a knee surgery. In our opinion, Vega would be an ideal long-term transfer, the young player has the ability to score goals from outside the penalty area, he also managed to attract attention with his dribbling. At 20, he has plenty of room for improvement, if United can convince Celta to accept performance add-ons to reduce the fee, it could be a good piece of business. Marcus Rashford spills the beans on reasons behind terrific goal-scoring form. 
Marcus Rashford has attributed his devastating goal-scoring form to mentality and getting in the right scoring areas where his teammates can find him. Rashford spoke to the Manchester Evening News where he discussed a number of issues including his rich vein of form, his past shoulder injury and the upcoming Carabao Cup final against Newcastle United. The Englishman told the men, football is probably 95% to do with your mentality, for me, that's everything, that gives you the baseline to go and perform, without that side, you're just playing off ability. The Englishman said that at the moment, his primary objective lies in remaining in his current headspace, which will help him become a more devastating player capable of winning trophies. The 25-year-old credited Eric Ten Hag's coaching staff for aiding in his incredible improvement. Rashford remarked that the backroom personnel regularly tell him to keep going even if the ball does not arrive. The United No. 10 was quizzed about the difficult 18 months he endured under old Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick and in particular the shoulder injury that subsequently sidelined him for an extended period of time. As per Rashford, no one else apart from people at the club knew the extent of the injury. The player disclosed that he had been dealing with the physical setback for a long time extending well beyond one season. The United Academy graduate, however, said that his love for being on the pitch meant that he was willing to sacrifice and make himself available to the manager. Eric Ten Hag confirms Manchester United players are affected by punditry from club legends. Eric Ten Hag has admitted it can be difficult for Manchester United's players because of frequent references to the club's history. The Dutchman also confirmed that criticism from club legends in the media can affect members of the dressing room. After the worst season at Old Trafford in decades, Ten Hag has changed the fate of the club since his appointment, allowing United to reach the Carabao Cup final and move up to third place in the Premier League table. After beating Barcelona in the Europa League on Thursday night, United are currently at the peak of a wave and this performance is considered the most important victory of Ten Hag's tenure so far. At his pre-Newcastle press conference on Friday afternoon, Ten Hag was asked about Schmeichel describing the performance against Barcelona as vintage Ferguson and he proceeded to discuss the impact of punditry in his answer. Ten Hag acknowledged that criticism, especially from club legends, could influence players and challenge them to make their own history. Rafael Verani opens up on failed Manchester United transfer and situation with Sir Alex Ferguson. The Frenchman has a World Cup medal, is a three-time La Liga winner and has even been knighted by his country. But while Verani may have spent the peak years of his career at Real Madrid after Sir Alex Ferguson pulled out of a deal to bring him to Old Trafford from Lens as a teenager at the 11th hour, he views the Carabao Cup final against Newcastle as an important step on another journey to the top. Verani said, I've spoken to Sir Alex since I got here, but I didn't talk about what happened then, I didn't mean to say anything negative, you know, I have a lot of respect for him.